Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're going to jump in as Elements this time. Obviously, we got the Flare Gun. I mean, could you possibly ever consider using anything else as this character? It's just simply too good. Um, this character has bonuses to fire. Also, you can build walls, but I, I'll be honest... I never use that ability. I probably should, but I never do. Anyways, we got this character. We're going to be obviously going for a good old bit of mood swing um, if we can get it because this character with mood swing and, oh man, it can it can really get pretty wild. I really like it. And the flare gun is just an absolutely god tier starting weapon for any character. Never mind a character that specifically has boosts to fire and stuff already. It's going to be pretty good. Um, so we'll do that real quick, and then I want to blow that up, and then we'll crack this open. Just a crack. Just a crack. And then we hope we can kill him reasonably easily without too much fuss. Unfortunately, he is kind of messing me about right now. You just keep shooting, please. There you go. There you go. We've got the sharpshooter. Scales damage on each hit. Okay, that's that's pretty interesting. So it's, it's an accuracy style weapon. We'll go with the, the elbows. I like the elbows. Honestly, this is such a small area that this is the sort of weapon I want to be using here anyways. Good, good. Right, with this dude, I'm going to try this uh, the sharpshooter. Oh, dude. Okay, it's... The bullets fire a lot slower than I was hoping, but this is good. Well, look at that damage. We got up to like 100 damage per shot there. That's wild. That is most unusual. Uh, excuse me, there's a little fella there. Where'd you come from? Um, of course, we'll be going and grabbing Mood Swing, because why would you grab literally anything else as this character? It wouldn't make any sense. And we just want to be looking for more elemental weapons. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. That was a little sneakaboo shot he got in there. That was... That was kind of horrible. I was playing it fast and loose there. I shouldn't have even bothered going into that gap, but... I took a risk. I took a risk, and I don't regret it. Bit of herming. Bit of accuracy. Never hurt anyone. In fact, it probably helped them. Dude, I'm getting some bad damage here. Okay, take you out. Oh god, I... Uh, I, I saw this turtle shotgun, and I immediately wanted it so badly that I went back to pick it up and got hit. Because if that doesn't fire turtle shells, I will be so saddened by it. Please, please let it show up again for me. Please let it show up again. The turtle reference gun, finally. <laughs> A reference to Le Turtle Melon. My goodness. Um, let's go with this. The amount of ammo you get from this is pretty goddamn good. Really? Another mimic? Got our energy pop weapon as well. We saw that previously in the last episode. It was pretty darn good. Okay. Again, we can deal with this guy. We know what we're doing. How much health do you have? I forget. Clearly not enough for Burza. Um, We're going to go with Turtle Shell. Okay. We're fine now. Everything's all good. Oh, really? I got hit by that explosion from the ammo there. Didn't think I would, but I did. Okay, I, I always seem to get a toxic weapon from uh, from this area. I don't know why that is. There's the toxic crossbow. Not that I want it. The teleporting once again being annoying as sin. Okay. Let's just step back a minute. Charge shotgun. I'll take over that. Thank you. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. 
Love the charge weapons. Very fun. Okay, we did not get a level up quite there, so we don't get to choose our good old mood swing quite yet. Again, I've moved into a terrible position here. I need to reassess my life choices. Luckily, I was able to kill all the long-range enemies relatively quickly there. We're going to try and do the same again here, but it's it's a little it's a little risky. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies to deal with here, so that was not the best of ideas. And all, obviously the shark and fucking dive for Britain as well. We got him, we got him. Cool, cool, cool. Right, you stay away as well, you. Bit of fire on that, that bad boy, why not? Why not put a bit of fire on it? And we are good to go. Okay, mood swing. Obviously, first choice, but yeah, we've got ex some extra... Oh, no, we've got explosive on it, not fire. Okay, explosive's fine by me, too. But yeah, now our fire's going to spread a little bit, so we get some AoE, some range on a weapon that already has a bit of AoE and range. We get more. Now that's a bonus. Right, explosive McGee over there is uh, causing some issues. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Ah, I wanted to use that. God damn it. Um, right. What what next goes really well with what we've got going on right now? I guess I could go with um, boiling veins. Because that's going to mean that uh, explosions burn enemies. Which could be nice. It's, like, not a bad idea, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for. I don't really know. I guess what I could do is go with, um... I mean, obviously, this is a good choice, but I think I'm going to go with Power Craving to make my weapon mods even even better and see how that sort of turns out. Because I think the weapon mod bonuses, making them stronger, be able to trigger more often, and them being powered up by this character, like this character's inherent abilities, seems fun. It seems like the sort of wombo combo that I could get behind. I don't know what I've done here, but it's a bad idea. I somehow survived it. That was uh, kind of crazy. Projectile speed there. Not the best. But we, we do get the ability to hold more um, on our weapons, which is really nice. We get to hold four now. Honestly, the projectile speed on this is really nice. I didn't realize how much of a projectile speed bonus it is, but it seems significant. Um... I think at this point we're going to go with Scarier Face. Although Energy Brain would also be an interesting choice because there's some energy elemental weapons that uh, could be good, like the uh, the Fwazer and stuff like that. But, as you can clearly see, this thing carries for a good while. Toxic Assault Rifle. I'll take... Eh... I guess I'll stick with the mini plasma for now. I don't know. I'm changing. I'm changing my mind. Like flip flopping quite a lot right now. I'll land on something eventually. Ooh, homing seems good on this. I don't know if the fire will herm. Lightning rifle. There you go. That's what we wanted. A level nine weapon. And one that is pretty spicy, if I do say so myself. Right, we do have some healing there, good. Oh, we have a lot of healing here. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. Okay, there's some police that have spawned to ruin my day. You are some sort of demon, goddamn. This is rough. Luckily, a lot of health spawned during that, but that was... That was pretty rough. Lightning shotgun, I think I'll take the lightning shotgun, thank you. Um... And at this point, let's go with the boiling veins. Well, the light, by the way, I don't know if it's been updated, but I think it has. The lightning visual effect looks a lot better with sort of the black outline it's got going on when you fire it. I think that looks really nice. So the lightning shotgun, of course, much lower range, higher ammo consumption, but some higher damage. Dude, the police need to get out of here. The purple are not welcome at my party. Okay, we are out. Inverted area. 
obviously. Although, I think, actually, we'll get an inverter if we go through here. So, I'm going to go through here anyways, and we'll get all of this look. Um, so, we want to remove toxic, no. Lightning, no. Herming. Let's, re let's replace Herming, because the projectile speed's pretty good. Excuse me? Okay, there you go. Right. Okay, pretty happy with that. The projectile speed's pretty good, so I want to keep that, but... Adding a bit of lightning onto this. The, the one that we want, really, is the tentacles. We want some Kraken. Kraken, as a as a uh, power craving mod, is... It's something else, baby. It's something else. I actually don't know how I wasn't hit there, so... Don't even ask me. That was some kind of miracle. Charge hammer. Charge hammer's pretty spicy, but... We're looking for those elementals, baby. Look at that. We just fired a projectile up here and it's killed like most of the enemies. Scary face is doing some wild stuff as well. I think fire damage plus scary face is a really, really strong combo because I think you get that little bonus damage on every tick. Flame splinter gun. There you go. That's the sort of thing we want. 170 damage. That's goddamn too much. Um, and then at this stage, I don't really know, to be honest. Let's go for Alkaline Saliva and get some overheals and stuff going on, because that's been buffed and it's definitely better. I think it's a lot more usable now. God damn, this is good stuff. Why are we being slow in here? I don't have extra feet. See, Alkaline Saliva plus the Negate every fourth hit is a good combo as well. Oh, we got Kraken on this bad boy. Love that. We also need to try out some of the alternate game modes at some point, because I've been told that they're pretty fun, and I've not really looked into them very much, so we can give that a go shortly in the next few episodes or so. I'm just too addicted to running regular runs. It's a lot of fun. Constantly trying to be better than the last one. And just, even if I'm not better than the last one, just having fun seeing new stuff and unique combos. Oh my god, you are taking some buku damage, big boy. Okay. Easy, got them. Auto-toxic crossbow could be pretty good. Oh, one last guy left. Dude, we're doing so much damage each hit. Um, I don't really know Throne, but the, the right call here. Let's go with Inner Peace and try and get even more chance to negate damage. This is, this, this is seeming like a run that's got some legs to it, so I'm intrigued to sort of try and piece together something a bit more defensive that we can keep it going. I've not even used this yet. It seems really good. It seems really, really good. Oh, I should have gone into the... Okay, it took me, took me here anyways. Good, good. Um, and we'll add flame onto this bad boy. Why not? Oh, hello. That was a bit spooky. And we are on to Le Boss. Boss, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. I mean, inverted boss we had some troubles with last episode, but I think that was due to Melting's um, Ultra more than anything. I think otherwise we shouldn't have that bad of a time with this guy. But I'm going to use my... Um, I'm going to use my Flame Splinter Gun first. And we'll move over towards our other one when we need to. So I'd rather not get in the way of needing to pick up ammo. Okay, flare gun now. Uh, why is my flare gun not firing? I think it's just not making any noise. Dude, this is insane. How is he not dead yet? Finally, wow. The inverted version of this boss is fucking... Takes no shit, man. Right, um... Wind push, kind of meh. Um, unit projectiles phase through walls. Ooh. 
Cool everything near you, um, ice cold walls, fire trail, and lightning and kraken are mixed, occasionally produce lightning kraken. When using lightning weapons, give gain explosive ammo when using kraken weapons. That's pretty saucy. But I think I'm gonna go for you and your projectiles phase through uh, for your walls. Ugh, that's boring. I don't care about my walls. Um I could go with tsunami then. I've not done the ice one yet, though. I, I know the ice one seems a little more boring. I'm going to give it a go. I've not done the ice one yet. And I'm interested to see what it means by the um, the walls being cold. Oh, my God. Ooh, did, are, we, are we deflecting projectiles? Or is that just the way that this boss goes? I think that's just the way this boss goes, actually. We got him. My goodness. We got him. Hello. Right. Obviously, we want that. And I'll also grab a few of these. Oh, we got a flamethrower. That's another weapon I've been really been wanting as this guy. Flamethrower is, of course, a fire weapon. I think the flare gun's probably better, but the flare gun, the, the flame gun's got a bit of interesting to it. Yeah, I'm definitely slowing down projectiles as they approach me. That's 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 really good, actually. Okay, we're gonna keep this going. We'll go through here. Why not? Oh, dude, that slowing of projectiles is kind of amazing. I still don't know what it means about the walls, though, about the walls being icy. Is it, is it just these walls, does it mean? Okay, it seems to just mean those walls, which is kind of understandable. Explosive Morpho Array, goddamn. But just, just, just to be aware, I'm using my starter weapon right now. The weapon that I spawned in with. That's how powerful this character makes things. Where's the weapon? Did that weapon disappear? Damn. Right. Honestly, this, this combo of mutations is really, really good for defense. Chance, to def uh, chance for to not take damage and gain ammo. In a piece to charge up not taking ammo, uh, not taking damage. Um, and then Alkaline Salivis, I don't take a first hit each floor. That's, like, super, super good. Still don't really know what the deal is with these little pieces that I'm picking up. I don't think I've ever figured that out. Maybe I never will. Run him over. There you go. Ooh, frost line. Frost line seems like it could be a good one for us. Efficient heavy slugger. I don't know what efficient means, but still. Your teeth use the same ammo there, so I'm not that interested. Ooh, he hello, hello. I'll take that. Quadruple flame shotgun. Don't have shotgun shoulders to go with it, but still. The flame aspects of it is uh, intriguing to me nonetheless. Blob cannon. Is blob an element? <laughs> I don't think blob's an element. So with all the purple chilling up here. Right, inverted. Ooh, this is this is good. Okay, um, Kraken for toxic, I think. The more Kraken, the better. Beautiful. 
Invert dragon once again. Hello, hello. I took so much damage then, and I don't even know why. Oh, I'm just, I'm just getting absolutely bullied right now. How is that boy meant to survive this? How? I don't even know how I'm still alive. I am, but I don't know how. That that was crazy. My defensive mods are helping out so much. Honestly, very, very hard to follow what's going on right now, so apologies to everyone. I've still got full HP, so when those trucks drive through walls, they basically instantly destroy themselves. That's pretty funny. Kraken Machine Gun. Oh, that is... That seems pertinent. Add some frost into that too. Might as well see what we can grab here. One, two. We're actually missing quite a lot of these. I've not done a great job of that so far. Um, hmm. I'm curious if I can make anything any better here. If I can turn something into Kraken, that would be rather nice. Let's go for this. Because I think we can do this reasonably easily with the slowing down projectiles thing we got going on here. And to be fair, just all the general defense we have going on. The spreading fire and stuff helps a lot. That was some stupid damage there. Also, as well, the fact that we're doing alright for the ammo on this thing pretty much constantly is definitely quite helpful. Look at the damage gear. Ooh, damn. It got exploded right on me. My cat died to the explosion, but it still hurts. I think this is better for, like, multiple targets AoE. I think single target our other weapons may be a bit better. I don't know how that didn't damage me there, I'll be honest. Hey, we did it. Okay. Right. Where be our excuse me van? Lightning to Kraken, that's kind of annoying. Um Kraken to melee or melee to Kraken? <sighs> I've heard that Kraken to melee is really broken, but I quite like the Kraken that I've got right now. I'm going to give it a go just because someone told me it's really good. Uh, so we'll do Kraken to melee. I've been told it's really good. I will sacrifice Kraken to see if they're right, because it seems pretty interesting. We shall see. Also, as well, I'm guessing it'll destroy projectiles for us, which is also really nice. Okay, we are in a bad spot for not taking damage here. I'm having a hard time keeping track of everything that's happening. We almost died. But almost isn't actually. care of. Lovely. Got a lot of toxic weapons about. A lot of toxic weapons. I need to find a Kraken weapon now and see how that functions. So I'm really curious to see. We'll see if one comes along for us. Seems to be the direct damage sometimes doesn't do much. It's more about the uh, elemental effects that are popping off, like the fire and stuff. The direct damage if we hit an enemy doesn't really give us that much. Electro cannon. Yeah, I need you to chill. <laughs> oh wait, this thing's cracking. I'm stupid. <laughs> I bet people are sat there like, are you okay?
That thing seems pretty fun. It's really good because it destroys projectiles, but it's it's a bit dangerous. But overall, I quite like it. How is this not over? What could possibly be left? Is it just you? Okay, we can go. We can go. Get me away from here. I don't know, this seems pretty goddamn good. Someone was onto something with this. I'm just hoping I can find more weapons that interact with this. Because this one isn't the best for it. It's just too ammo hungry. We got another hyper crystal, are you kidding me? I'm gonna need to take out some of these guys before they electrocute me to death. Shot a guy very nearly did. Oh, dude, I'm not constantly running out of ammo for that thing. It's somewhat working. Still alive, aren't I? So can't be that bad. Hyper fire grenade launcher. What is that even? A heavy even. What? That's not that good. What's left? Of course, it's got he cops all the time. It's always cops. Okay. We're piecing things together. Square, I don't even know what that means. Square a gun? It's a very high tier weapon, so it's probably pretty good. Square a gun. Okay. Ram cannon. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, man. Oh my god, there's so much going on. I'm going to run out of ammo and not be able to handle all of this. Things are dying without me even getting involved. I'm not really sure what's happening. Meteor Striker. <laughs> what? Okay, I've got to try this out for a bit. Holy, okay. These are, these are two of the same ammo types. I'm a little wary. But that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't, uh, is, it, is, is it the boss next? If it's the boss next, I might, I might have buggered up here. If it's not, I'll be okay. Okay, it is the boss next, so. What? Why does that have Kraken on it? I'm gonna take that for now. See how we go. Right, let's try and destroy this. Wait, does it make melee Kraken and Kraken melee? Is that how that works? Is that how that always works? And I've just never known that. Does it? Does it do it? Does it do it both ways? I thought it only did it one way. I'm getting burned right now. There's so much happening. Because this melee weapon is definitely firing out Kraken. Which I think is a good thing for us. Yeah, seemingly. Okay. Oh, I got YV. Okay, I'm just, just, yeah, sticking on this guy, hoping for the best.
Hello, hello. I'm just gonna go for more of these. Thank you. I think I unlocked a Kraken weapon there as well. This this thing seems amazing. It's got good range, very good damage. Ow. Get out of here, you. Right, back over this way. We got the Meteor Striker with us, though. Definitely tempted to swap out my main weapon for the Meteor Striker, just because it's funny. And I think I'm going to do that. Oh my god, okay. Bullet Shovel it is. Where's our regular portal? Or do we only have the inverted one? Regular portal, anyone? Okay. <laughs> Look how amazing that is. What a cool weapon. Okay, so I never knew that it was vice versa. I gotta be really careful around this guy. Luckily, the freezing is seemingly helping out a lot. Dude, this thing runs out of ammo so fast, though. Right, I'm going regular path this time. <laughs> Look at the, the like, melees as it goes by. Yeah, I, I always thought the way that those things worked is... Do you know when it, like, rotates on the pedestal? I thought if you picked... You could pick melee to Kraken or Kraken to melee. I didn't realize that it worked both ways. I always thought that it was saying you pick one or the other. Oh, that was an unfortunate death. I got slowed down. Either way, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.